This tire was dry rotted, it went flat, and it rolled off the rim today. Which gives me the opportunity to test the internet rumor that glitter and latex paint can seal the inside of a tire. I've got some glitter and latex paint, so let's put this rumor to the test. I interrupt your regularly scheduled video for this little bit of redneck engineering to remove a stuck lawn tractor tire. I now return you to your regularly scheduled program. The tire's off, let's head down to the shop. Here you can see the extent of the dry rotting I'm working with. There's lots of cracks here. We're going to see if this latex paint and glitter seals these up. For my latex paint, I'll be using this Krylon interior exterior paint. So nobody can say that I didn't use the right stuff. And then I will also be selecting from one of these tubes of glitter here. I'm going to pick the thickest glitter I can find. I'll take this second to mention the fact that I think shredded newspaper would probably work better than glitter, but that's just me. Made myself a cheap little funnel out of a piece of spare plastic there. Here's the uh, latex paint. You can see how much I'm using about, I don't know, about a third of a can is what I've got left in this here. Go ahead and pour it on in. I don't think this really takes any explanation. Get it all in there and be done with it. And I've got my two little tubes of glitter here, as you can see. There's one of them. Just go ahead and pour that in there, like so. Make sure it gets into the center of the tire. I don't want anybody saying that I did this high-tech experiment half-assed, so there you go. It's all empty. I've got another tube here, some green, about a half a tube of this. Go ahead. Same deal. Just go ahead and put it on in the tire. Pretty simple. To seat the tire on the rim, I'm going to use that old uh, five gallon bucket trick. And if you all want to see that, there's about a hundred videos on YouTube that'll show you how to do that. It takes about a half a minute. The tire seated and uh, made a little bit of a mess, but not too bad. You can see it seems to be holding air, but I can feel a little bit coming out the edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz this with some water so you can see where the leaks are still coming through. That sat for a little while. I'm spritzing it with some water now so that you can see I've still got air seeping through those dry rot cracks on the side. This tire is in really bad shape and I might be expecting a little bit too much from this project, but hey, it's worth a shot. Uh, I'm going to bounce it a couple times, make sure it's spread around good and proper, put it back on the lawn tractor, and uh, give it a whirl. Okay, the tire's back on the tractor. Seems to be holding a little bit of air. I've got about 40 minutes worth of grass to cut still. Let's see if this quick fix works if you just happen to have all that stuff on hand. After about 40 minutes of mowing, up and downhill, you can see how well it held up. It's, uh, it seems to be holding air still pretty well. It is going flat, make no mistake about that. But that little quick fix, you know, it got me 40 minutes worth of cutting and I probably could have got a solid hour out of it if I really would have tried. Or if I actually had more grass that I needed to cut. So. That's it. That's uh, my test of this little internet solution for fixing a, a flat tire with latex paint and glitter. Again, I really think that you could just shred up some newspaper, throw it inside of there, and it would probably seal better than the glitter. But that's just me. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Maybe it was helpful. Maybe it wasn't. If it was, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. If not, you can move on to a different video. Thanks for watching.